cash crop in California since the new year. Tonight, 10 News reporter Travis Rice is in Oceanside, where city leaders decided just how far they want to go with pot. Call it the High Council. Oceanside is greenlighting the cultivation and manufacturing of medical marijuana within city limits, but there's a catch. No dispensaries. City leaders agreed that medical cannabis has a purpose, but they are not ready to support recreational use. Don't need to sell it out of a storefront. Normalizing it uh, will increase, I think, the, the uh, teens using it. Barbara Gordon isn't thrilled the city passed the comprehensive ordinance, especially since both public safety chiefs spoke out against it. The city hires a police chief and then the and the fire and then they do not listen to them. That doesn't make sense. Gordon believes dispensaries in Oceanside are a ways out. When we look at the city of San Diego, we have seen it, we've smelled it, we have talked to businesses around manufacturing. They are impacted of what's going on. So they're not high. They just have less pain. Terry Polly is a cannabis nurse and says this decision will benefit her patients and the farmers she knows. We have a lot of agricultural land here, and it would help support the people that live here. The law won't go into effect until later this spring, but both sides agree on one thing. I just think if they do it right, it, it, it'll be beneficial for the city because they'll get the tax dollars. This is big marijuana. This is production. There's a lot of money to be made. Um, and people are going to capitalize that. I don't know that they're really going to care about the uh, health and safety of the residents. In Oceanside, Travis Rice, 10 News.